All right, let's talk about MEPS. Now, what does MEPS stand for? It stands for Military Entrance Processing Station. Okay, so what are you gonna expect when you go to MEPS? Well, your recruiter is going to actually drive you down there and typically it's in a large city. I was in Pennsylvania, so my MEPS station was in Pittsburgh. When you arrive, they'll just put you up in a nice hotel, free of charge, you get breakfast, lunch and dinner, all that good stuff, and you even get a little bit of freedom. You get to walk around the city by yourself, whatever kind of shake off the nerves. When you arrive at the hotel, you get a liaison. And in my experience, my liaison was awesome. He was so nice. He understood that you have all these nervous kids there getting ready to go into the military. So they just try to keep you in a relaxed environment. Don't sweat it. The night before, eat a good dinner. The morning of, eat a good breakfast. You're gonna be hungry. There's a lot of standing around when you go through MEPS. Okay, well what if you're overweight and you're afraid you're not gonna be able to weigh in and make weight? Most hotels have a sauna, they have a pool. When I went to MEPS, I was nine pounds over my weight. That night, I went to the sauna, I swam some laps, I ran, I made my weight by three pounds. You can drop water weight really quickly. I don't recommend it, but it's there if you absolutely need it. When you're at MEPS, just be you. Don't be that guy. I was uh, in the pool, at around 1 a.m. trying to swim laps and this guy comes in, comes running in, jumps in the pool, full clothes. He whips out his cell phone, his wallet, he jumped in with all that crap. I can't make this stuff up. Don't be that guy. The day of MEPS, you're gonna wake up really early. Set your alarm clocks. I'm talking like a 5 a.m. wake up. And if you don't wake up, they won't take you. You meet downstairs, you have some breakfast, and then they'll put you on a bus. When you finally arrive at MEPS, you'll form a single file line and go through a metal detector. Then you move on to a waiting room. So you're gonna be waiting around a lot. Do not bring your cell phone. I promise you, they will kick you out if you bring your cell phone. A lot of people think that the civilian workers that work at MEPS are just awful, terrible, mean people. But you gotta remember, they're dealing with stupid people every single day. I'm talking about this guy that just jumped in the pool with all of his wallet and cell phone. They're dealing with like a hundred of those guys every single day. So just be courteous. Yes ma'am, no ma'am, yes sir, no sir, please and thank you. You're gonna go and pee in a cup. That's gonna be your drug test. Don't do drugs. So please, 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 aim. Just aim, guys. There's gonna be that one guy that pees all over his hands and pees all over his pants. Please aim. Make sure you wear underwear. There will be a time where you have to take off all your clothes and stand there in underwear. They do a small physical with you, with everybody in the room. Don't be that guy that drops his trousers and then is completely naked, because guess what? You're gonna look pretty silly in front of 100 other dudes while you're duck walking across the floor completely naked. Now why are you duck walking? Like I said, it's a physical. They're gonna do a couple of easy exercises, some balancing, some duck walks, just some really basic things to make sure that you're physically fit for duty. And they'll also take your weight while you're there. Like I said, it's easy. Just follow the people's instructions, be very courteous, be nice, and don't sweat it. There's really nothing to worry about. After all that is done, then you move on to the actual testing with the ASVAB. If you're decently smart, you're gonna be just fine on the ASVAB. I mean, if you're even worth your salt, you'll score above 50. If you don't, you can always come back and try again. People always say, how can I study for the ASVAB? You've taken tests in high school. Don't be discouraged if you do get a bad score because you can come back, but I have a feeling that you're gonna do just fine. There's a few different sections to the ASVAB. You have like basic grammar and composition. There's mathematics, a little bit of science, I think. And there's also a weird one where it's like puzzles. Like you have to be able to match puzzles together. That part weirded me out. I got like a 90 on my ASVAB. I did okay, but I know I missed all my points on that part. You can take practice tests all day long, but at the end of the day, you're gonna be fine. There's no way you can review every answer of every question they're possibly gonna throw at you. So just breathe. Don't worry, go take your ASVAB. You're gonna come out just fine. Once you've knocked that ASVAB out of the park, you're pretty much done. You probably will wait around for maybe an hour, two, three, four, five, six hours. Just kidding. But there will be a lot of waiting. But your recruiter will come pick you up and you'll go home a happy camper.